We have a newspaper that's failing badly. It's losing a lot of money. It's going to be out of business very soon. The New York Times, okay? I love it. And they wrote a story today. Anonymous sources have said, three anonymous sources, anonymous this, anonymous that, the newspaper's going to hell. They've got a couple of reporters in that newspaper who are so bad, with, I mean, lack of talent, but it's going to hell. So I think maybe what we'll do, maybe we'll start thinking about taking their press credentials. That's Donald Trump at a campaign rally in Connecticut a few minutes ago, suggesting he might pull the New York Times press credentials for an article that's citing problems within his campaign. This amid another tough week for him on the campaign trail and a new controversy with dozens of Republicans calling for the RNC to cut off funds to Trump's presidential campaign. Here with reaction is Katrina Pearson, Donald Trump's national spokesperson. All right, Katrina, I am looking at this article now inside the failing mission to save Donald Trump from himself. And, and Donald uh, is correct. I mean, it's, it is one anonymous source after another. Um, and, and that, uh, uh, you know, the, the campaign is in trouble. Is the campaign in trouble? Uh, no, Judge, it isn't. But that is that has become the most common theme, whether it's the New York Times and other mainstream print press or even at CNN. There's always this this anonymous source or two anonymous sources that seem to know more than even the campaign knows about the campaign. Um, they've all been writing the Trump campaign obituary now for over a year. Um, even after Wright's Priebus was campaigning with Donald Trump yesterday, they're still writing stories that the RNC does not support Donald Trump and vice versa. We have to remind people that Donald Trump is the one raising the money for the RNC. <laughs> you know, uh, Katrina, though, uh, when I hear Donald in Connecticut, and, and yeah, I'm not sure why he's in Connecticut, but we'll get to that in a minute, uh, you know, talking about the New York Times, who cares about the New York Times? Who cares about what they say? <laughs> I mean, people want the fight in Donald to be against Hillary Clinton. What we're hearing about the Clinton Foundation and this craziness of people contributing millions and billions of dollars, getting access. It's the old Lincoln bedroom all over again on steroids. So w why is he doing this? Well, you'll, you will hear him talk about that as well. Uh, and the rally will be online for anyone that wants to see it that missed it tonight. Uh, he talks about all of the above simply because, look, Judge, he is fighting not just against Hillary Clinton. He is fighting the media. Um, he's been able to get past the media by taking them on head to head because, as you know, when someone's constantly attacking you and you don't defend yourself, it actually works against you and not for you. And that's why we're excited to have Donald Trump as a Republican candidate, someone that's going to take these people head on and call them out for their lies. And I think more people now understand the biased media because they're definitely not hiding it anymore, but they're getting Donald Trump's side of things, which is something that's never been done in, in Republican uh, Republican elections in the past. But, but you know, let's assume, you know, that the press is going to focus on things. And, and, and I find it stunning, Katrina, when, as a prosecutor, when I look at all of this stuff that we're just seeing in the emails that were deleted, expunged, concealed, mm -hmm. burnt, wiped, whatever you want to say, uh, and everybody just ignores it, and they're worried about what Donald meant about Second Amendment people and Supreme Court. It, it, I mean, I understand it, but at the same time, he now understands the press. Why play their game? Sure. Why not just get out there and say, and this week we saw this and this and this and not even go in the other area? Well, I mean, you're right. It's not news that the Clintons are corrupt to the core. I mean, this is they have a string of scandals behind them for over 30 years. The media has been covering for them. And, you know, it's no secret that the, there's corruption in the government. I mean, cronyism is why we have a Donald Trump nominee and why the Bernie Sanders people rose up and why the Tea Party even started. Right. Donald right. Trump is taking on everything. This is the entire establishment, whether it's the right or the left or even the media. And Donald Trump is taking them head on. He will be talking about the emails. And if 
if you check your inbox, the campaign just sent out a very lengthy discussion on the emails as well as the pay to play for the Clinton Foundation. Uh, and the media is not going to talk about that. So the media, it has to be called out for what they are. The bias has to be pointed out so that when individuals do hear what the media is saying, they know to only take it uh, with a grain of salt simply because they're not telling the whole truth. And look, Judge, you mentioned earlier that there was uh, you know, one, one thing after another for the Trump campaign, and the reason why is because the media doesn't want to cover the email scandal because they've been covering for Hillary for a very long time. She left the campaign trail for the entire weekend after the news came out and CNN broke it that three FBI field offices right. want to investigate the Clinton Foundation, and no one is asking her these questions. I got to go, Katrina. Thank you so much. Still ahead, Trump Thank pollster you. Kellyanne Conway is here to map out the path to November. And next, my political panel is standing by to talk Trump, Hillary, and my favorite topic, the Clinton Foundation. Justice rolls on in a moment.